Tonight, a new change on one Clearwater road. It is the same road where a driver hit and killed a local teen as he made his way to his school bus stop last August. 15-year-old Ethan Weiser's family has pushed for changes since his death. We go now to our Miguel Octavio with this action both school and transportation leaders took today. Car after car pass Bel Air Road every day. But here, remnants of Ethan Weiser's life stand still. I mean, it's hard to relive the probably the worst moment you've had in, in your life. Ethan's death, a pain. His uncle Matt Crossman wants no family to feel. But he's using grief as fuel for change. If we can take a step, we should take one. After meeting with Forward Pinellas and its school's transportation safety committee, a crosswalk is now on display. Just today, we're told crews put up flashing lights. The reflective paint, which will, which will help and drive awareness. You can find it on Bel Air west of US 19, not too far from where a driver hit Ethan. This was long overdue. Neighbors feel frustration about how long it took. We, we share your frustration. But the safety committee says time is needed for success. And we need to make sure that we do them right and that we're not opening it up so another child gets hurt or, God forbid, killed in the future. We need to get it done right the first time. Matt isn't done yet. You know, more actions like this taken around bus stops in the area would be great. He plans to shine more light into areas in his nephew's honor. Since we're not going to let the roadblocks stop us from having the conversations. Driving ahead to a safer future. In Clearwater, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. And right now, other school bus stops are also getting attention. The safety committee will now create a new process to figure out those that need more safety measures to be put in place. And we will be there and learn much more during their May meeting.